매번 야야야야야 불러 널 야야야야 내 맘을 고백하려고 타이밍만 보는 나 그런 나를 안 보며 왜 그러냐고 묻네 너 때문에 You are back in your bag, zipping all necessary stuff inside your bag. Not because tomorrow is the wedding and you have to shift to your husband's house, but because you are going to run away from your own wedding. You were done with keeping the stuff inside your suitcase and were now sitting on your bed looking for a text which your boyfriend might have sent you, but you got none. You started panicking as it was 9.30 already and he was supposed to be at your place. at 10 just when you were about to keep your phone down on your bed again your phone got a notification you became happy thinking it was from your boyfriend but unfortunately it was from your best friend you read the text which said come here fast i have something to tell you too and your eyes were in another text as it was a picture of your boyfriend sitting in the club Wasn't he supposed to be coming? Taking your overcoat, you made your way out of your room to go to the club, and since your wedding was held in the morning, all your relatives were present at your house, were already asleep. So. You entered inside the club only to widen your eyes. when you found your own best friend who called you here kissing your boyfriend who was supposed to run with you the next day tears welled up in your eyes is this what she wanted to say you questioned yourself and made your way towards the traders no you're not going to supposed to cry or run you have to talk to them and if necessary teach them a good lesson as well You held Tina's shoulder and pulled her away from your boyfriend and his eyes widened as he sat straight and was ready to explain but you showed your palm to him and asked him to stop you turned towards Tina and asked That's it. You slapped her across her face, making her stumble. And when she raised her hand to hit you again, you twisted her hand and pushed her, which made her fall on her butt. You left the place and finally let your tears out. But since you did it once, you won't cry for it ever again now. You were now ready after wearing your wedding gown. Not gonna lie, you were sad, but you were determined to forget the cheater and start your life from a new point. Before this, you did not wanted to get married because you had a boyfriend. but you always had faith in the choice of your parents you have already met whom you are going to marry a few times in business parties or meetings your chain of thought broke when your dad came and smiled at you he lifted his hand so that you could hold it and you held it tightly while he patted your head from his another hand <laughs> 